Welcome to the Paranormal Highway. Today, people, we're going to be talking about how AI is changing a lot of things. And I want to bring out a disclosure. This is this is going to be more of a, a, a deeper kind of conversation. I got Andy and Anthony in the back. Um, Andy's going to show us some cool things that, 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 he, that he could do with AI. So the AI, AI is here. So the question is, is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? You know, what do we all think about the AI? So kick back, relax. I got a new intro that I took my some of my old intro, put it together. I'm not as good as Andy. Andy's also making videos. I'm not that good. So if you don't like my new intro, I apologize. I'm not as talented as some great people that's coming on this show. So kick back, go to the bathroom, get popcorn, come back, because we're about to take a ride on the Paranormal Highway. As good as Andy. <laughs> oh, and it's... hey, that uh, that was impressive. That's worthy of a Spielberg. Um, film, <laughs> I would say. I just took I just took some of my old ones and mixed it with me out in the field. Uh, hey, hey, we lost I, Anthony. He must got uh, abducted. I'm not the I'm I'm not the, the the expert in video. I just make it up as I go along, like like you do. Just you know, yeah. It's That's basically about. what it is. That's how you learn, right? You just play with it, mixing, and yeah. And I, I'm obsessive, so when I start something, you know, learning something, I can't stop. Anthony's decided to come back. He, uh, I don't know why. I don't and, know what it does that every now and then. This computer, and and sometimes Andy, then you sit there like, okay, what song works? What music works? You know, yeah. you only you only got certain ones you can use because of copyright. So and you're like. Does this work? Does this work? Well, I, I generally try to work with the music first because if you've got a beat within the within it, it's it's I find it's easier to put the pictures, the images, or the videos at certain points within the beat of the so it kind of snaps much much better. But you I'm know. sure there's going to be a program you pay money for. You type in what you're looking for, and the AI <laughs> is going to spit you out a whole minute intro. The, the AI now, I mean AI now, you know you. You could have a career as a musician or whatever uh, with AI uh, and not even know how to write a single note of music uh, these days. Yeah. Same as graphics, same as pictures, you name it. AI is, is everywhere. I know that it seems to be the flavor of the month at the moment, but it, uh, it, it, it it's great. A, a lot of creative people say it's it's killing real artists. The same way actors say, well, it's it's going to kill, you know, all the CGI is killing actors now because you don't need actors. You don't need presenters on TV anymore. They can all be AI. But somebody has got to write it. You know, people are being employed. You can do that now, too. It can write whatever you need, you know. But yeah. Any kind of new technology that comes out, they always say it's the death of this, right? Yeah, they said no, that about let's TV, let's right? At, let's let's yeah. look at the movie theaters. They say when VHS and uh, Beta came out, it's the yeah. death of the theaters. No, it wasn't. The Blu-ray disc, <laughs> you know, DVDs come out. The death yeah. of theaters. It's not. You know, you just have to learn and adapt. You know, streaming services was supposed to be the death of the theaters, and it's not. No. 
you know because so, it's a it's a yeah theaters are it's a completely different experience people want the experience of of you know sitting with a, a lot of people uh, and enjoy that it's like going to the theater you know right. you want to be part of the performance almost yeah right it's just another thing you have to learn to use you know you can fight against it or learn yeah. with it but now if you watch the news guys i mean there's a lot of i think was it the uk andy i think andy i think i thought i saw the news that 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 the UK government had a meeting, yeah, and they're talking about r restrictions or whatever with the AI, just yeah. like two days ago. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, it was it was an international meeting, but it, the British hosted it. Oh, um, yeah, the British hosted it. Okay. Uh, it was more about the dangers, you know. Obviously, uh, you know, you can fake stuff now on news. You know, you can see people being whatever killed or whatever and say yes this is what china's doing to its people you don't know if that's real or somebody made it in their bedroom uh, and and then posted it on twitter uh it, it, you know it, it's it's very difficult now so i don't know how they're going to uh regulate it or even police it how can you regulate it i mean what you're gonna tell the computer that you can't write it this way you can't write yeah. it that way yeah <laughs> So, yeah, and even if they try to put restrictions, people will find a way around it anyway. Oh God, yeah. I mean, there you was know, a lawyer uh, recently uh, in America, a lawyer that that uh, used ChatGTP to 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 research a, a, a felon or someone, and really? he wrote his report. It was all GTP. Really? You know, yeah. Uh, the problem with that chat GTP is if it doesn't on this. In other words, if it doesn't have the correct information for something. It'll yeah. just fill in the blanks with, with whatever it thinks is is correct. It may not be accurate information that yeah. you're getting. It may be information that's totally incorrect, but in the same line with the subject, and it'll just fill in the blanks. Well, this lawyer I was saying was he he put in this information that he was sent, and asked the chat GTP, "Is this is this accurate? Is this true?" And it came back and said, "Yeah, <laughs> it's fine." You know, my uh, son's school. If you turn in a report. That's supposedly created by uh, an AI. Apparently, his school has a program to see if that report yeah. was created by AI. How would they know that, though? I mean, how, how, they must how, be how, checking um, the algorithms or something. Oh, possibly. Well, apparently, they, they, they go back with your back work somehow, and they kind of see has this because you know people's writing skills don't just change how you structure your here. work right, right, right. and see yeah. if it's, it's the same structure i can see that as the as all your body of work to see if it sure. if it veers off completely from what you're used to writing yeah i can see how that can check yeah. they can compare so even though you have this technology there's technology to check that technology yeah i know it's you like know? Uh, the, one of the uh, uh in hollywood of course i don't know if people are not into movies there's a huge writer strike that's going yeah, on yeah. and they're talking about it's going to be going on for the next six months and of course that's going to affect tv shows uh, movies are getting uh pushed out a year you know a lot of things but part of the writing strike inside one of the items is the ai that yeah. that that who gets paid if somebody if a company uses ai to finish a script who gets that money and part of what they try to say is somebody has to get paid the yeah. AI creator, who knows? But somebody has well, to get paid. Wouldn't it be the person that typed it in? in. Wouldn't yes. it be the person that typed it in? The person the... types it in. Supposed to get credit. Like, it's his yeah. own. Yeah, yeah. But, you know. But, but, uh, they, but the writers, you know, they, they're in a union. So they have union. all these WGA. Different, right. They have all these different union regulations that they've already, you know, the contracts are already in place where writers have to get X amount of writing time for whatever. And you can really never change that unless you fire the union, which forget it. If that happens, yeah. you know, the industry will go down. You know, well, this is how crazy well, everything. the strike is. If you really think about it, okay, Ryan Reynolds, you guys all know Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. Okay. Deadpool three is in production. Deadpool three was already pre-written before the strike happened. Okay. So while they make the movie, Ryan Reynolds is known to change wordings with the movie, like, like change something. He is not allowed to because he's part of the union. So if he changes a word, technically he could get fined and kicked out of the union. Isn't that weird, right? You're making a movie and you can't make changes in the movie if you're part of the union. Wow, really? Yes. Yes. He just and Deadpool 3 like kind of a movie, you know, it's all jokes. 
If he wrote it, he can change it, can't he? No. If he wrote it. If you wrote it, he could use it, but you can't make changes while the strike is going. That is that is Oh, I, I get you. While the writers are on strike, he can't do anything. He cannot make changes. Oh. In a lot of movies, there's changes are made during, you know, you know, that didn't work. Like you know, sometimes we make changes like in eight minute cartoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah but uh, he's well, not allowed to. It was Grasshopper uh, uh, saying AI can be sued for plagiarism because it's used information from other people. Right. Who do you well, not, well, who AI. Do you who, who's the AI? You mean the AI? T, the company itself, would be sued, I guess. Yeah. Like Google, I guess. Yeah. Of course, of course the, the, let's just use Chat GPT. Yeah, we'll 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 call let's call yeah. it a Chat Elemental P. So we're not speaking about anybody in the right. XYZ. Know, but, so, but anyway. How would you sue that company directly for something like that when it's an algorithm, you know, an AI algorithm, you know, whipping up the yeah. information? It's not somebody in the company per se sitting behind a keyboard doing it. Which used to be the case. You right. Know. It no but, longer is. Now the no. system has a mind of its own and it's doing it, correct? Yeah. 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 That's right. I mean, yeah, I know that kids in university would pay someone to write their, you know, someone in China or somewhere like that would write their thesis or their right. masters, whatever. Right. Now you, you just go on, the, just go onto a, 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 a website and type, type it in and let it do its. Right. Job. Write me 600 pages on, you know, the, yeah. the science of sleep. Yeah. Wow. He said to the person who used it. Oh, I guess you could do that. I guess you can do that. I mean, if you're a writer, and you're using a chat system to assist you with your work, right? Mm. Theoretically, they got to read the body of work that ended up coming being a final product, and they have to fact check everything, right? They're not going to mm. just pull it out of the system and spit it out and throw it into production. That would be stupid. no. You would you would check it. You would probably yeah. what you could do. Well, a lot of people the thing is I can see positives as much as I can see negatives, but yeah. you could get it to write a six you know thousand page thing, and then you can you can edit it, change some of the words. Uh, a lot of the words, uh, the, so it becomes part of the, you know, the AI and part of yours combined. Right. Um, I don't know if that's a, whether you're allowed to do that or whether you can get sued for that. But I, I, I don't know the name of this writer who writes his book. He's you, he, uh, God. He was talking about he had a writer's block. Oh, that's a good. He point. wrote up to a certain point. And he had a writer's block, and he asked the AI to finish this chapter. Yeah. And he read it, and, and, and he used it to give him ideas, like, oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. So he actually used the AI to help him when he had writer's block, just to help. Like, get- yeah, I, that's, I see there's positives. I think they're more, uh, the, you know, the powers that be, governments and stuff, are more concerned about um, political, predominantly political issues that, that could cause, you know, uh, presidents to be, uh, elected and and people not you know the, the right people to be elected. Uh, I guess there's a the wrong term, right people. There isn't kind of the right people when it comes to politics. I guess, but uh, they're more concerned about that or espionage or, or various other um, issues that uh, can arise from AI. Being like an artist or something, there are other issues, of course. Well, again, plagiarism. I could I could do AI now. And make everything look like a Banksy picture. Um, Banksy is he going to sue me? Probably not, unless no, I started I mean, posting it everywhere and saying these are Banksies. Right, uh, right. If it's in the likeness of that, that's fine because people do art in the likeness of Picasso and and yeah. uh, you know all uh, the yeah, greats, Van Gogh yeah. and all sorts of things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If it's in the likeness of something, that's that's one thing. If it's an exact copy, you know, that's another. Yeah, uh, and you could just say, well, look, uh, this is AI. This wasn't a real Banksy. If you admit to it, maybe, you know. But, you know, there are some artists who are very precious about their stuff and don't want anyone to even try and replicate it. There's again. a lot of artists, especially Spanish and Mexican artists, that their work is very similar to Salvatore Dali. Yeah. Uh, if you look at Salvatore Dali's work, I can't remember this famous Mexican artist, but but his work is predominantly very similar to mm. Dolly's work, and you know, you would you if you didn't if you weren't in if you weren't in you know didn't know yeah the work of Dolly, you would yeah. maybe say, oh, that that looks like a Dolly. Yeah, you know, absolutely. And uh, you know, I, I, the only people going to complain are the people that that um, obviously are his estate. The Dolly right. estate would would complain about it. Anyone else wouldn't wouldn't give two. 
about it. all the information is already there it's just the way the i the ai takes it mm-hmm. and reassembles it for you as, as grasshopper said you know it's it just basically searches uh the internet for most of the information right. uh, but the information it gets some of it is copyrighted and that's where you you can land that's where you draw trouble. another big problem you know you know who told me that uh uh, when we downloaded that program, remember we downloaded that program and it was it was um, can't remember the name of it. We, we pick Pictory AI. Oh yeah, yeah. Remember it had the images, and then it'll write a story for you. Like you give it a couple words that you want to write a whole story, and then I was talking with Ron, and Ron was like, "That can pick out plagiarized work." Yeah. And you know you got to And then he gave me another program to check to make sure like the work that it picked out for you wasn't plagiarized. <laughs> I had yeah. no idea YouTube could go after you for a, a yeah. story, you know, a couple sentences. If it was got from somewhere else, I had, you know, they can though. So you really yeah. have to watch with all of that. Yeah, stuff. It, it's, uh, it, yeah, it's a bit of a, at the moment, a bit of a wild west. Uh, just like you know, many new new technologies. Yeah, uh, and they'll, like, they'll end up regulating it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show people this. I'm, I'm gonna type in something here. This is a video description if I want to uh, put in YouTube. Let's see here. Anthony gets hit, kidnapped <laughs> by aliens. Oh, this should be interesting. Okay. Let, let's see what it says. Okay, I click it on might, it. It might ask who Anthony is, but... Look how uh, fast it did that. Look how fast. Now, now let's see. Like it, 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 it gives me two different ones. So let me see if I can make it bigger. Let me read so you guys can see it. Anthony's life changes when he gets randomly abducted by aliens. Following his journey of survival, escape and discovery in this exciting sci-fi story. Oh, this sounds good. See how Anthony faces impossible odds to make it back home to his family and witness the thrilling twists and turns that await him uh, on the way. Join us to find out what happens next on Anthony's Extraordinary. We should use this for the new movie, Andy. This is great. (laughs) And and it gives you, like, choices. You could do up to three variants of that. Just that sentence. I mean, that's how. Fast. Doesn't that sound that great? That. that did that really fast. It really, really fast. Quick. Yeah. And that that's which program is that one? Uh, this is the one that's uh, R-Y-T-R dot me. Oh, yeah. R-Y-T-R. It, oh, and, uh, and if you, you can sign up for free, it gives you like a, a certain amount. But, of course, you pay more. And you do a lot more. Yeah. But, and, and and not just descriptions. I mean, if you uh, if you go here, there's like. Blog ideas outline, brand names, business ideas, does cover do letters, emails, fake? Google search ads, does interview this questions. Deep fake? Does this do this program? Um, because a lot here. of those are very concerning. You see how those deep fakes look? They can even match the voice now. Oh yeah, the, I was look, watching video a Twitter, idea, uh, video the, channel description, uh, testimony oh, reviews, there you go. YouTube channel description. Yeah, you're not wow. going to get played uh, done for that, you know. Just like that, I got a. I already got a description, and it sounds great. So, is the description no, is. of this show is this done in this uh, program? The question. What the ones in this show? I actually I did use it for this show. And uh, here, let me uh, let me pull that up. I'll pull it up right this, now, guys. If you typed in Paranormal Highway in that Paranormal Highway YouTube channel. Yeah, Will it find you and work off the existing. It'll probably, area? it'll probably be the description of that so, that uh, that um, Eric did for the show. Or so if he for this one. show, this is I use AI, AI for it. Okay, I, the first paragraph is the title of the show, but it says, "Are you curious about Bigfoot, UFOs, and the paranormal?" In this video, discover how AI can help or destroy us. Learn more about these phenomena. Learn how AI can help or destroy us. Analyze evidence and uncover the truth about these mysteries. Hear from experts in the field as they discuss how AI has changed the way we look at paranormal activity. See how AI is transforming our understanding of what's out there. So, what did you write as a as a as a prompt? The uh, only thing I added in, actually, I did add in something I, because I, wrote, um, where it helped. says it, AI yeah, can yeah. help. <laughs> I put in destroy. No, um, my question is to get that paragraph, you, you, you have a prompt, which is what you write. What I did went you to write? the RTY and I just type in the paragraph of the show and put it in there, and that's what it came up with from the title of the show. You type the title oh, of just, the show. Just the title. Just and the title of the show. Pulled out that. Yep. All right. yeah, it's yeah. pretty impressive. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's yeah. amazing. Now I'm going to play, I'm going to show this. In the eerie darkness of a Kentucky. 
This, now, people are asking, well, how does this affect the paranormal or paranormal or, a, yeah. you know, Bigfoot or all that? Anything. This is a Dogman video what? says, is this finally a clear picture <laughs> of the Dogman? So let's watch this. Of a Kentucky trail cam, a spine chilling creature emerges. This menacing Dogman with piercing eyes and bared teeth sends shivers down the spine of all who bear witness. Its immense muscular body and wolf-like snarl reveal its fury, as if provoked by some unseen force. The terrifying image raises questions and fears about the unknown lurking in the shadows, reminding us that the wilderness still holds its secrets, and our encounters with the enigmatic dogman are far from over. Beware, travelers. Captured. Yeah, I can, I can tell that's AI. Yeah. That's some, this video okay, most that I took yeah. Hit thousands and thousands and thousands of views, and when I went into the, the uh, description of like people uh, uh, leaving comments, wow, that's incredible! People believe oh, that Here's picture's the real. I, that's the problem. That's and the that, thing is, a lot of to people, us that looks fake. A lot of people that go on 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 TikTok and stuff aren't into UFOs or dogmen or anything. So or even AI. So when they see something, you know, the average person doesn't know jack about ai or anything so they'll see that and think wow that's amazing right the likes of us who are a bit more uh, you know we do a lot more research and looking into these things or even use the tools uh, know what it is so you know you're always going to get plenty of people who just come across something like that and have no understanding of of ai or fake stuff or whatever so i can see why people get lots of views on such things because uh, they're, they're none the wiser. I want to pull something up real quick. It's just um, amazing me, Andy, how people were believing in that picture. And now that's just a few. Imagine they made that look even more real. How many more people... Oh, you can. You can, do, you can do... You can make it more real, yes. And just, just so you know, uh, uh, Anthony's background and my background were all done in AI. Let me show you this real quick. Do you remember NVTV... A couple months ago, maybe it was even last year, they had the Bigfoot on NVTV. You guys remember that? Uh, vaguely. Okay. Yeah, so vaguely. I, I'm just curious if this Bigfoot was actually AI. Yeah. I've seen that. I've seen that. Because yeah. it's very short, and then it just repeats itself over and over and over and over and over and over and over. Yeah. Could that I mean, be AI? Yeah. There are new. There are. Uh, I'm. I'm. I'm a member of one uh, forum. There's a couple of new. There's one called Opus, a new video AI uh, program now on website. You can put in, uh, for instance, uh, a video of Anthony's or, or yours, Eric, and it can make something completely different. Um, you just put the prompt in. Just describe what you're looking for. Well, and you did that before something. with your friggin' junk drawer. Oh well, I haven't shown anyone yet. Um, I was waiting to, for, for when we maybe get to that point. Are we getting to that point now? Oh, we can show it now. Uh, all right. So, everyone that's here. So, okay. So here's. Uh, everyone has a junk drawer, do they? Well, we let's call all them... discover what's in it first. What's in his junk drawer? Oh yeah. Luckily, I made sure there was nothing to. Uh, that a dildo. Dude. There's oh, no it's a dildo. flashlight. There's a flashlight, a paintbrush, some screwdrivers, some string. Uh, some cl uh, a plastic fork, uh, lighters. There's probably about fifty lighters in there. Uh, everything. I thought, well, let's take a picture of my junk drawer and then see what I can create just by writing uh, some prompts. Uh, so the f the first result uh, is this. Wow. So obviously, I I wrote a description as to what it what I was looking for. I didn't ask for a astronaut to be standing on the pedestal posing, <laughs> but that's where they are. Um, and so I then added a, a bit more to try and sort of uh, uh, just get it a bit more what I was looking for. That's then it created nice. that, that, which is, is cool. beautiful actually, <laughs> uh, from a junk drawer. And then the final one was that one. Uh, wow which is amazing. Now, obviously, you have to to get what you're looking for, you have to write quite a lot and then tweak it, see the results, tweak in it again. Prompt. And in the prompts, just change your prompts. Um, but I'm talking about quite a lot of text to, to get what you're after. But from, you know, from, from junk 
to to things like that. You know, it just goes to show uh, how AI can can change things beyond belief. <laughs> who's that? Who's saying that there? Um, Second star. Matt. Yeah, Mike. Uh, Mike. Matt. Right. Matt, Matt. Yeah, uh, alternative reality is his junk. In his junk. <laughs> ah, yeah, well, what can I say? Uh, yeah, I'm not going to argue with that. The image of you drunk draw in, and that was the baseline for the photo, in other words? And then you added a prompt to it? Yeah, so I took the picture, I put it into the AI program, wrote a load of stuff about what I was looking for, an astronaut in space, rockets flying everywhere, um, and that was the result. Um <sighs> You also did the it was you also work with the AI for the the new Bigfoot logo we did too, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I um I should show you how many how many I made to get to that. Prior. I, yeah. I think it was about twenty and like a lot of them were just a hairy face and Schwarzenegger's body. <laughs> you, know, you know, naked, big muscular guy, but with a, a Bigfoot looking face so yeah. i had to keep tweaking it and tweaking it to get to i mean you know it, it got a bit kind of weird at one point you know he was uh, completely naked at one point it's like no i don't want that uh i want more hair da, 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 da. and i gradually got to the final result um uh, it's amazing but uh yeah it, it's great fun and obviously uh, i mean i spend like 24 hours messing about with it i'm also uh, assuming that's where all these alien photos are coming from you see all the, the take now you see some some people out on vacation in the woods or whatever and they got all these aliens around them they look like they're taking picture with all these aliens i'm yeah. assuming that's being done with ai yeah, AI. yeah 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 now now free, freaky freaky geek um what's his real name freaky geek no his real name no uh, i i don't remember I thought you knew him. I've always called him Freaky Geek. Oh, is it? Okay, sorry, mate. Um, it was asking, so some pictures are not paintings then? Hell no. You should see some of the pictures I've made with AI. You would think they were painted. Um, you know, you can make them look like watercolor, uh, oil on canvas, you name it. You can make it all look amazing. And I've spent many hours creating some really interesting stuff. Uh, and in fact, a lot of the stuff I sell on Redbubble is all AI generated. Um, but they're, you know, they're high quality uh, and they look great once they're printed out. So, I'm trying uh, to find these images as we're speaking of all these alien pictures that are going around with, and like people are like taking photos with them. Oh, um, you remember the ones you kept sending me of uh, like a guy and then he's got aliens behind him? Right, but if you look really close, you'll notice yeah. that those aliens, it appears that they're wearing jeans and stuff, but it kind of like edited into like green skin and, you know, like over there. Yeah, yeah. It's so all really, AI. It's just a group of friends taking a photo. Yeah. And, and they overlay these alien prompts. Oh, you don't even have to overlay. Um, all you do is put the picture in. Like I said, you saw my junk drawer, right? Right. Uh, I didn't, you know, I, if, I, if I'd have said, you know, four astronauts, you know, floating around the planet, it would have created them. If I put a picture of me, you, and Eric and said three aliens playing cards, it would have changed all of us to aliens Let me uh, uh, playing playing cards or poker or whatever. Hey, Ghost Dragon, man. What's up, buddy? It's awesome. Uh, let me share this one screen. Um, this is actually on my TikTok channel. Um, this video is about about Bigfoot kind of camera, real or hoax, and how they how they try to film this kind of stuff. So yeah. oh, let me pull it up. So let's check this out. Yeah. One, this that's a big two, Oh yeah, Todd standing. How's that? That looks right. Okay, well, it's way wider than I am. I mean, look how narrow I am compared to it. That I kind of feel bad for this guy, not for nothing. That thing is just way, way thicker and bulkier than I am. Way wider. 
Not I remember that show What's with this guy. What was it called? Todd, this is Todd Standing, and this is uh, the BFRO team, the big for, for research Todd, I just team. Met you. Yeah, there was a ridiculous you know, show with him in it. But I can't looking take it for just Bigfoot, right? I have to look just at Which the Which one read the show me. like I can't original recreation? It was like him and a group of other people. Take I think it's the same the show. No, and it just got really, it just got really silly. In a costume, but investigating potentially hoax videos is important also because you can't become an expert on Bigfoot videos unless you become very familiar with both legit footage and hoax footage. Hmm. And that's that that is true because we, we don't know what's real anymore. You don't know what's not like this one. Uh, this is not a bad video here. This is actually me, right? So, hmm. so finding Bigfoot I, that was the name of it. Finding so, Bigfoot. This of course, I, you know, I, I was um in New York. You know, if you watch my little Bigfoot hunt. It's boring. I, I, you know, there's no, there's no AI in it. Maybe I, I, to get it big, I should put AI in it. But this is just, oh, you I know. don't know about boring, but oh, you know, this. Is, the, is the reason uh, just a little she bit. hates it is, is she knows that if I see something, and I think it might be something, I'm going towards it. She hates that because, <laughs> what if it's a regular animal or something? You know, what am I doing? But you know what I mean? It's just something that I always feel like as a kid, when we all got out of the car and, and saw Bigfoot, we all had. And I, I'm not showing this to tell people go go watch this video, no, but, no, but but I'm no. showing it because I'm not using AI. I'm not putting things in there. You know, you don't always catch something. And, 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 and you know, how many, how many channels that. I don't know what it is that, that, that some people got the magic touch that every time they go out, ten out of ten times, <laughs> they're getting something. Nine out of ten times, I get nothing. So then you know you have to start asking the questions. Well, why is that? How is that person just lucky? Is it just hmm. or or are they using or are they actually using AI? You no, know, you know, I bet you, Andy, if I gave you this video. You could probably AI a figure behind a tree or something. Yeah. It's oh, yeah. Bigfoot. Yeah. 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 Uh, but, yeah. And it wouldn't take super long. You know, it wouldn't take just a long time. Of, like probably blending it in with the camera, you know, the scenery or whatever somehow. Yeah. Uh, so, so, yeah, I mean, it's getting, it's getting much more, uh, it's getting easier for anyone to do it now. In another uh, year or two, I can't that's even. That's what imagine. I want to bring up. That's what I want to bring up, Andy. You know, back in the back in the day, it took some talent. You, it, it, it truly yeah. did. What are you, what are you trying to say, video. Eric? But <laughs> I, an eight-year-old kid or a dummy can pay twenty bucks on a program, just type in what they want in it, and it's done. Well, here's the thing. Uh, I have a confession to make. Uh, actually, uh, Anthony is actually somewhere. It, uh, looking for Bigfoot in the field. I mean, this is this is he's all AI. <laughs> he's all AI. I'm not real. He's not real. Uh, I wanted to show you uh, like a a picture of a woman I drew, not one of the yeah. naughty ones. Um, uh, but so you can just see uh, how realistic they can look. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Oh wow, that does. Um, Okay, you probably can because of the shading and stuff like Look that. But oh, you take away the shading? You just put the girl there? You know what this reminds me of, Andy? When I go visit my grandmother, she has, uh, you know, like headshots of her, my grandfather on her bureau. Yeah. And back then in the, the 40s and 50s, oh, yeah. they had color portraits like that. They yeah. almost looked like they were airbrush painted or something. Yeah, yeah, you know, I know what you mean. Yeah. That's what that reminds me of. Well, actually, a lot of models, if you look at Vogue or whatever now, they all, they're all they all airbrushed out anyway. Um, so, you know, you, that could be a real person, but it wasn't It wasn't even a picture of a woman when I wrote it. Uh, I just described what I was looking for. Um, Beautiful. Not, uh, I even added to ask for tattoos. Um, and uh, look at that. I mean, that's a beautiful – is that a real woman's face they used? Or? No. I mean, uh, no, it's all beautiful. it's all ones and zeros, mate. She's like a dream dream woman, you know. Look at her; mm -hmm. she's gorgeous. Can you send me that in a poster? <laughs> I've got better ones if you like, but I won't go. <laughs> Let's not go there. Uh, 
but it was just an experiment. Somebody asked me to make something uh, with a bit of an orient, not oriental feel, but more of an eastern. Um, with an eastern you, re promise. you redid uh, Marilyn Monroe and oh, uh, no. what's her name too? Um, her name escapes me. Audrey Hepburn. Oh, the uh, Audrey Hepburn one is incredible, beautiful, amazing. Um, and again, oh, I didn't use any pictures of her. I just typed in. Uh, Looks like Audrey Hepburn sitting in a car, uh, smiling at the camera. Da, 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 da. Then, what you can do within the prompts is is you can even put what kind of film. So what I did, I I researched the kind of the actual film type of film they used for the movie, and I would put that in the prompt so that you, then you would get the, get the style. Oh wow, that's um, uh, and you can ask for cinematic lighting. Uh, different types of rendering as long as you you know it's all about just using your imagination as well and also researching like a movie if you wanted to look like something from uh, the 39 steps the movie if you know what that one is or citizen kane you know if you want it to look like art noir sort of black and white uh, style do some research about the cameras that were used at uh, at the time of filming, you could then say filmed with this kind of camera. You can just keep going and keep creating some amazing stuff. Do we have any hey, video clips of new CGI stuff that's been done within the past month? Uh, like how real it looks opposed to the old stuff? What you mean? What you mean? So in other words, if you, yeah, if you go back, I don't know, four or five years ago when CGI was like in its infancy stage and look at what they were doing then, it's kind of shit. You could you could really tell that they used CGI. It was almost cartoonish, right? Yeah. But if yeah, you yeah. look today at what they're using, I mean, you, you yeah, but know, although you if know you look AI CGI, but the quality's gotten so quality's good. great. But for instance, that last uh, Marvel movie where they were all fighting together that that was just just too much goddamn AI. Everyone was just... Yeah, there were true. no actors doing anything in that big battle. They were all AI, AI I wanna, uh, characters. I want to bring this comment up. Uh, second Star Survival, Matt. Most people that always catch Sasquatch is mostly being played in the woods on a Bluetooth speaker. And what he's talking about is, is the, oh, you know, a lot of people claim to have sounds, and what they're doing is they're playing Bluetooth behind... What sounds? People have done that. Actually, yeah. I remember a channel... One ch I'm not going to name channels. One channel did that. Another channel paired it with this voice footage from another video. Same one. And it was exactly the same. And then this I channel was it. fighting with this channel. The thing <laughs> is, with AI, you wouldn't need to steal anybody's sound. You just no. created your own. Yeah. Why AI can do that too? It sounds AI like can it. create sounds. You could be a musician. Yeah, you could make music. Yeah, again, it's all about prompts. Using the, pro using the actual yeah. app. Uh, you're getting used to know, knowing how to use an app, knowing how to write a prompt, because you have to be quite descriptive yes. if you want the detail. Um, as long as you've got the detail, you want it to sound like Beethoven's Fifth Sym Symphony. Uh, you don't even know need to write music or know any notes. I'm not aware of that. It, you can, uh, yeah. Uh, it seems to have just burst on the scene most recently in the last, you know, couple of months. Here's it's where... been around a while, but. Now it's yeah. here's where having multiple cameras out in the field is going to come into into play more now. Like you know, when we went out these past couple, the, well, the past month going out, you know, we had four and five cameras going at once. I mean, people are going to have to start doing that now just to show this ain't AI. This is you know, yeah. multiple well, camera angles. Look at that, yeah. Anthony. AI oh, music generator. generator. How about that? Now, how does that work for like musicians? Uh, you know, you could plug in there, you know, make my beat to my song sound like Beyonce's. Look, and then, you know, what do you do then? You start well, for free, of yeah. course, it's pricing. Leverage the power AI to generate royalty-free background music at the click of a button for your video, streams, podcasts, and much more. Well, wow. luckily, I have a my own little music studio, but yeah. I still use, I still use, um, I'm a member of various sites not AI generated music, actual just royalty free music, you know, real proper music that people make. But yeah, AI music now, like I say, AI, AI video, that's the next big thing. And there was this great one I saw on Twitter where this guy, um, I may have sent it to you, Anthony, some time ago, 
where they've got this AI now where uh, even though you can have it so that I'm looking at this screen, but it doesn't move my eyes. I'm still yeah. looking. So I'm like, I'm still talking to you, but I'm actually looking so I can tell people the next part of the script or whatever. Wow. So it, without moving his head, but it just it's just his eyes um, just look like they're constantly talking at you, but he's actually looking at a different screen. That's, That's convenient. There. Which is useful for, for possibly streams like this where yeah, we want to look something looking, up. I'm always looking down at something, looking up something. Mm-hmm. And you guys, you know what's funny now is I'm not gonna. I don't name channels. I don't do. I don't do that here. But what? there's certain channels you don't that, use... that oh. Anthony, you and I know no. that hoax things. You and I know. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. Oh well, I These think same we all channels know. are yeah. now using AI. Saying people are using AI, it's like even bad channels are using the AI to overshadow what they're doing. So everybody's oh, yeah. using the AI word like a porn word now. It's like AI, yeah. AI, here's AI, where, AI. Here's where I like AI. For example, Andy can emboss things and pull an image out that you really couldn't see. Ron has a program where if you can't see the image 100%, he could put it in this this program that it'll pull it out because it changes the backgrounds and the color combinations and everything. You could pull the imagery out. Mm-hmm. That kind of AI is very helpful yes. in the field. Oh, right? absolutely, yeah. yeah. To... to, to, to... To try and get more clarity yeah, of right. some f- a footage that you've got or right, a picture yeah. that you've taken. And then you got the people who put the item there with AI. Right. <laughs> that's well, that's right. right. Yeah. You got the item there with AI. That's the that's so, the problem. So, but for for, for general, I mean, well, how do we? And I know we all have to learn how to research even more now. But how do we even research even more now with the AI? Is this going just going to be a learning process that we're all going to have to work together? I don't know if we're going to be able to. Um, uh, yeah, I don't. It, it, once it's out there, it's going to be very difficult to to control or to or to yeah. you know unless you control the internet. Kind of, well, you can't control the internet, so I don't. I just don't know whether there's any. Uh, now it's let loose on the general public. Oh, whether you can put the genie back in the bottle. I don't know if you guys heard this now, but the way <laughs> people are um, are taking advantage of other people of scams on phones and stuff. They are using, this is true, it's on the news. They're using families' voices and the reprogramming and the AI to call people and say they need money, and you're thinking you're actually talking Oh, that's to right. That yeah. happened to an old niece. lady, man. Did you hear yeah. what happened to her? She got a phone call from a person that sounded exactly like her grandson. And this AI program only needed three or four words of her grandson's voice, from even from a video, from some old Facebook. Can and you send it, me some money? You know, they can type that in and then they then, can say it. Then they had the AI call the grandmother and say, Grandma, I got arrested. I'm in jail. I need $10,000. I got in a car accident. I hit a woman. She was pregnant. She lost the baby. Then another guy gets on the phone pretending to be the cop, yeah, telling him, yeah. you know, if you, if you, the bail bondsman, if you come, we can bail him out. We can get him out right now. She gave these people $9,000. When they handed her the money while that guy was there collecting the money, the phone rings again. It's a grandson again. And then, hey, Grandma, I'm going to put the, uh, an attorney on. As for another five. She wow. lost all that money, that poor woman. She was yeah, like, that's a, that, is a tricky, that is a tricky thing now. Uh, it is, is uh, how, how, yeah, you can't, once the genie's out of the bottle, it's going to be very difficult, especially now technology, you know, is going, you know, every year it's just leaps and bounds. What we're going to be able to do in just a couple of more years, it'll be amazing. I mean, I love all this kind of technology and stuff, but I can also see the dangers of it, of course. And even, in fact, one of the chaps, I can't remember his name, who invented, I think it was chat GTP, said it, it, it's a danger. It can be become a, a danger to people, but, you know. Here it is right here. I want you to check this out real quick, because this is, this is important. This is what AI has the capacity to do today. And, and it's scary. Your grandmother hand over thousands of dollars after falling victim to a scam. 89-year-old Shirley got a call last Nine. week and saw her grandson's name on the caller ID. She picked up and heard a voice that she says sounded exactly like him, saying that he'd been in an accident. And he said, Grandma, 
I broke my nose. The person on the line handed the phone to a person Shirley was what? told was her grandson's attorney, who told her her grandson had been arrested for hitting another car and injuring a pregnant woman. Was, of course, sh very shook up. That person telling Shirley if she paid more than $9,000 in cash, the charges would be dropped. Shirley went to the bank and got the cash and is seen on this video handing it over. Moments later, she received another call saying the pregnant woman's baby had died and that the charges were now more serious. That's I was sick. hysterical almost. Uh, I, I cried. Imagine. This lady had lost a baby and that These my people have no shame. With murder. The person on the she line demanding an additional $5,000, which she also handed over. Shirley, not realizing she was being fooled until Four she finally grand called grand her thing. grandson. I think it's absolutely disgusting. They need to be caught because they're hurting so many. I mean, can you imagine? Yeah, that's right. And now, you know, your bank calls you and stuff. You, you're going to say, well, I don't know if you're the real, my real bank uh, manager or whatever anymore. It's like, Not only that, I mean, you yeah. it, can you imagine the AI prompt being so perfect that it, she really thought she was talking to her grandson? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, so, yeah, and uh, and we're only at the early stages of AI. Uh, how you know? Give it in five years, even five, five years. You're able to FaceTime somebody as another person with the voice. Yeah, I mean, like I say, I know a lot of actors and people in the business uh, are up in arms about it because they, you know, they don't want their likeness being turned into yeah. an AI, or some of them want it because they want to live after they died. A uh, star. Voice in less than ten seconds, I did Morgan Freeman, and it was exactly oh yeah, I saw the Morgan Freeman one on Twitter. Uh, his That's voice, insane. his face, his, everything. So it says, "I am not Morgan Freeman, but this I'm is gonna, an AI." Uh, we're gonna have some fun amazing. here. Okay, oh, yeah. this is called Eleven Labs. Okay. Oh yeah. I went in here and added Taylor Swift voice oh, yeah. into this system. Uh -oh. I just wrote a small Careful. little text, nothing fancy. I'm going to oh, hit generate it. Anthony, oh, I want to have your baby. I need to feel you inside me. I want action all night long. You're mine only one. Please abduct me tonight. I can't stand another day without you. <laughs> oh, dear. I think you're going to get some... Uh, and, 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 Thank you, Taylor Swift. Eric, you're going to get in I trouble wasn't, with like, that one. Without even putting those certain symbols where you can make the voices go more perfectly. I just wrote that really quick. And that's not bad. Doesn't it sound a little bit like Taylor Swift? Yeah, wanting Anthony? Watch, listen one more time. Anthony, I want to have your baby. I need to feel you inside me. I want action all night long. You're mine only one. Please oh, abduct dear. me tonight. I can't stand another day without you. I want you inside me. Oh, 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 I want you all night. No, that, that's not good. Uh, that's scary. <laughs> but, but, but the thing is, you, you could... You, you take clips off of YouTube and you take yeah. their voices and you get like up to three, four minutes of their voices and then you just type in stuff like that. But Anthony, you know, if you put a certain symbols, you can actually make the voice have a little bit more. Yeah, a bit more. Um, um, what's the word? I just but, did that. I just did that in, in, in less than a minute. Punctuation. The punctuation. If you put the in, intonation is what you want. It's when they enunciate certain words. Oh, the, pr the proper pronunciations of yeah. Uh, and the intonation. It's like. If you raise your voice and then, uh, you know, so it sounds much more like a real person. Now, I never want to hear that again. <laughs> now, let's do never? it the right way. Let's do it the right way. And let's, <laughs> let's say the threesome. Let's say Jennifer Lopez in there with her. Hey, it. hey, hey. hey. That night works out. We're going to do it again. Hold on. This time, I put my brother's name in there, Robert oh, Wood. Oh, Robert. Hold on. Rob, my Anthony, I want to have your baby. I need to feel you inside. <laughs> <Hold on. laughs> sounds like him. Anthony, I want to have your baby. I need to feel you inside me. I want action all night long. You're mine, only one. Please abduct me tonight. I can't stand another day without you. Oh my God, that's classic. That sounds just isn't like it, you. Isn't that amazing? We, we have, have to do one people. with Anthony's voice, won't we? <laughs> Damn, what site is that, dude? That's the 11, what was it called again? It's, ele it's called uh, 11 Labs. 11 Labs, yeah. You only, uh, it's only uh, uh, five bucks a month, and you can have this so many. Of course, there's higher prices. But... Can't you get if you were to publish that everywhere, you would probably get someone calling you saying, oh, especially uh, Taylor Swift's manager or lawyer would call you, right? And say, take that off. No, and, I'm and the sure reason if her voice is on there, they allowed it for the program. The reason I found that 
But you're website, taking you're does. taking her voice, or are you not, uh, Eric? You take you took a clip of her voice. Is that right? Yes, from YouTube, I I took clips. And the thing is, see, the reason I found that website was when I couldn't get certain people to come back to I need for the cartoon. I was experimenting, like, what? Well, what if I just put their voices in there? Hmm. But it still sounded like, a little bit like a robot. I didn't use it, but I was. Yeah. But I'm like, damn, that's damn good still. But that sounded, you know. But I'm wondering about the copyright for that. You that one that you know with uh, with Taylor Swift because you know she's probably got lawyers everywhere. Um, how do you know that Taylor Swift don't want Andy? Well, like I say, some stars don't care. Some really do care. Uh, but sometimes it's I don't think stars. Taylor it's Swift just... wants my chunky ass unless she got a sex swing in there that can hold my ass up over her. <laughs> oh, no, I, I've got a picture <laughs> okay. of that now. I just don't. Well, then, no, then let's do up. Uh, Pamela Anderson. Well, how about someone with a more... Dis- I need to feel you inside me. Wow, I want action really all night sounds long. like her. You're mine only one. Please abduct me tonight. I can't stand another day without you. Doesn't it? Isn't that amazing? I'm just trying to think of someone with a very distinct voice that, you know, you you recognize immediately. I mean, I, I that could be any American to me. Um, no offense. Um, if I, you know I, Pamela Anderson, you know that's that's her voice. Well, I, I know who she is, but uh, voice-wise, <laughs> yeah, uh, Ron, you're you're right. She is very litigious, and she would if she wasn't involved in that program, she'd be suing that that company for even having a voice in there. Yeah, without a doubt. Well, so with this Eleven Labs, they have their voices you can pick from, or they have you, can upload, you you can upload voices. Oh, Roger, thank you you if they have Ronnie Dangerfield. Oh, uh, Ron, you have to upload Ron the Dangerfield. Gilbert Godfrey, how about that one? Gilbert no, I don't Godfrey. think he's in there. I would have to. You, I would have to find up to four minute clips and oh, upload yeah. it into it. Oh, and Larry David. I would like Larry David uh, or someone like that who's got a distinctive voice, or even you know uh, uh, Seinfeld or someone you know that. Yeah, yeah no one I, else. I already oh, had. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> See, I uploaded Taylor Swift and Pamela Anderson and my brother. I put that in there myself, so they weren't part of their yeah. list. I put it in there. That's, you only uh, need three, four minutes, and then it does that, and it does it so well. Yeah, and that, who needs that? What's that program where you can you get real actors to say, you know, welcome to unidentified oh, cameo? Cameo is it? What's it called? Cameo. Ca- cameo. Who needs cameo now? When you here's the thing: cameo people, you know, these actors want to be paid for their work, mm-hmm. right? If right. you have somebody who's on cameo, a star. But you use the program that Eric's just used. Well, you know, you well, don't need you, don't, uh, you, you don't, don't need to pay cameo, right? But you don't get the visual with that. You just put a picture of them, right? There you go. <laughs> what if somebody's making a documentary, right? And you need a narrator? You could uh who's that oh. famous um one guy they always use for documentaries? Or Richard David Attenborough. Oh, Richard Attenborough. I'll talk about the guy he plays in seven with Brad Pitt. Um Oh, Morgan, Morgan Freeman. Freeman. Morgan Freeman. All right. Yeah, we mentioned him. You earlier, put that yeah. voice in your documentary, it, people will be like, whoa, this is an important video, not knowing now, that's AI. How does something like that work when you're doing a documentary yeah. or a movie? I don't, you would have to hire. You Morgan. wouldn't. You wouldn't. They wouldn't even let you air yeah, it. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, they wouldn't let you air it because you're going to have to put who, well, you don't, you know, even if you could, you could Unless but, they have the stipulation, like, narrated by... An AI sounding like Morgan Freeman, but right. that, that wouldn't get past the lawyers. That would just... Uh, they wouldn't allow it. Um, you could put Morgan Freeman's younger brother. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's crazy, exciting, but, you know, crazy at the same time. I, I love all the IT, and, the, you know, I'm a geek myself, of course, so I love it all. But I can also see the dangers and the also, you know, the the problems that can arise from. It. I mean, I, I'm more concerned about the politics, politicians, yeah. politics, and people who are going to start spreading lies about all sorts of people. Uh, it, it's not good. That's yeah. not good. What about? Um, remember in the movie um, Star Wars? Uh, um, no, you. Oh God, my story. God, the one um, Rogue One, where they they. Tarkin, the actor played Tarkin, he passed away years ago. They actually got permission from the family and they AI his deep fake face 
in it. Oh, yeah. You finish it. You know, um, uh, uh, what's the actor's Carrie name? Fisher. Uh, they did Carrie Fisher. Cos, they did that. Rebel they did Without Carrie Cos. Fisher. What's his name? Who? who? Sorry. The actor who plays Rebel Without a Cause, the famous fifties actor. Oh, James Dean. James Dean. Oh, James before Dean. the before the pandemic, the director got permission from the family. They were going to make a modern day movie using a pure deep fake of of him in a war movie. No. Oh, because of the pandemic, it got kind of. But they were already they already got permission from the family. Fast and Furious. So it's coming. Fast and Furious. They use what's his name face. The guy right. who passed away. Yeah. But you know, Carrie Fisher in uh, the last what was Star it? Wars, uh, right. Star Wars. They had well, enough. that was extra footages that they had from oh, the no, other was they some CGI. Of no, they did it some CGI of her in there as well. Yeah. And remember, uh in the nineties, remember when Brandon Lee died making the crow, they actually yeah. put a guy in makeup and they kinda use imaging to make him look like it, even right. in the nineties. What about what they're doing now with like Indiana Jones, for example? It, I they heard. I heard regret, it them. Yeah, they can age regress his voice and face. Kirk Russell in Guardians oh, of the Galaxy. Well, didn't they do Guardians of the Galaxy? They did. Yeah, Kirk Russell. Who? They, they uh, Kirk Russell in uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. They they de-aged him. No, no. The it, the, uh, it, uh, also, the second one. No, the the what's the, the black guy? Um, he was in. He was in. Gal what's that? The guy that was in Pulp Fiction and all the other ones. Samuel oh. Jackson. Samuel yeah. Jackson. What was he in? He was in the. Uh, was he in the Marvel movie where they made yeah. him? Really young? He's Nick, yeah, he's yeah. Nick Cage. Yeah, yeah. So um, that's yeah. They can do that but without like, any. I'll pull it up now. Like you can look at Indiana Jones, how they made him younger. Oh, the new one is that yeah. out yet? Is that no, out not yet. yet. No. About about three weeks. All oh, right. I want to watch uh, Asteroid City, which is coming out soon. Have you seen it? Have you seen the look of it? No. Wes Kramer, it's it's shot. It's got a lot of big stars in it. You know, um, oh, uh, check it out. Tom Hanks is in it. Um, um, Astronauts. Wow. Yeah, just. I'll check. Up. It's filmed really well. The coloring, the way they filmed it, is beautiful. Asteroid we're City. Use, we're not going to use any voice or play it at all, but just look how they made the face. Yeah. Younger. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I mean well, that's remarkable. Well, look at the movie, uh, the mm. one on Netflix with Robert Downey Jr., The Irishman. Oh yeah, they de-aged them all. Yeah, even and, though uh, even though uh, it was pathetic seeing a young de-aged Ron, uh, Robert Downey Jr. kicking somebody on the sidewalk, that, an old <laughs> man kicking like that doesn't look right. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, yeah, it was too long as well that movie. But uh, I didn't like that movie actually. I was a bit bored. I have to I was say. really bored. Um, but, you know, it's Scorsese. What can you say? Uh, but, yeah, there's, uh, there's so much amazing creative stuff you can do with it. It's it's a it's a, a double-edged sword because, you know, creative people say it's it's ruining real artists, you know, with pen and paper and doing it. But this is the 21st century. Pen and paper won't be around in, you know, another 100 years. Pen and paper will be gone. It's all money is going to be gone. Yeah, it's all digital. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is good in a way because if you want your favorite actor to be in the movie, so you have all his mannerisms and his voice, yeah. and all that, but you have to de-age him another 40, 50 years to have him for that part. You can do that yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah, you can. Yeah. I mean, and it's only going to get, uh, yeah. By the like way, you know, Bobby De Niro is having a kid and so is yeah. Al at 86. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know, God that gives blood. me hope. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want any kids. Al Pacino's girl that's having a baby is 26 years old. He's 86. Yeah, come on now. If you, were, if, if you were him, if you were as famous as him, you wouldn't, you, uh, you'd be, you, you wouldn't complain, would you? She's definitely a hoo <laughs> Yeah, she's gorgeous. Like I do got to be somewhere in 30 minutes. So, Anthony, what do you got coming up? Actually, this uh, Sunday, we've oh, invited yeah. on uh, a new person in the community. He had a uh, a Facebook channel for quite some time, and he just recently came to YouTube. Uh, his name's Joey the UFO Magnet. A lot of people seem to know the guy. He's got a lot of good stuff. He actually is the guy that um, 
filmed that triangular UFO that looks like it's behind the star. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we invited him on this Sunday to, you know, let us know uh, about his channel and what he's planning to do here on YouTube and all of that stuff. So I just figured given he's only got like 54 It's, it's like a, an introduction to him because he's new on the scene. Yeah, yeah like just an introduction to everybody to let him know who he is. And, well, you know, maybe the only way you learn him. about somebody is having him on your channel, talking to him, learning who yeah, he is. Yeah, no. We've been talking for months. He's a really nice guy, and, he, you know, he loves the UFO stuff. He's out, you know, all the time filming. So because he's new and he's unknown, you know, if you have somebody that's uh, unknown come up, give somebody yeah, a shot, you know. And he calls himself the UFO magnet because apparently, <laughs> he, he, you know, he, uh, UFOs are attracted to him, similar to uh, Anthony, where they, he just seems to see them all the time, or they seem to be in... Uh, and I'll put that right. link... He's a nice guy, so we'll 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 have him come aboard. And I, I want to hear about that triangular UFO that he filmed uh, that we put up. Mm. Uh, I'm very interested about these triangle UFOs, as everybody knows. I try to get as much information every time somebody sights one. Yeah, well, we do know someone else that apparently saw two triangles next to each other. But uh, did you see that? Know. You know, the they had the whistleblower conference with Dr. Greer this mm. past weekend. Yeah. And one of the whistleblowers, if you listen to his story, he's it's very sees, similar to yours, isn't it? Very similar to mine. He sees a triangular craft come in and and stop and hover. And then another one from the top of that one. Mm-hmm. Funny that this guy just came out of nowhere, right? And almost verbatim, story. Uh, yeah. apart from sitting on a motorbike and stuff, but... It, it it had elements of Tom Warner to me. You know, it's like somebody what about, using what about your when story. You said that it looked like a stealth bomber hovering. You said that. that. Is my exact fucking story. Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, maybe and, maybe and he not, had a similar encounter. Who knows? He may have done, but may I'm have not. Been same thing. He seen. I don't know. Yeah, it just seems coincidental. I, just, that I don't know where use... that story. I never heard it. Never heard it. But I been, never. Didn't even hear about this guy, Evan. All of a sudden, he's there, and that's the story he's telling. Yeah, it's a bit sus. I mean, a, a lot of people in the in the community are a bit kind of... Uh, obviously, you're going to get one side that's going to say he's he's telling the truth, even though they don't know jack shit about him. They just believe him. Whatever. Um, and other people like us are a bit suspicious of such tales, but want to believe him. But, um, you know, we, we, we got the... The new documentary coming out, you know, we had uh, Steven Spielberg's action director signed on to this with us. And last night, um, another executive producer signed on with us. So Monday's the meeting to get everything started. Now, uh, Netflix wants the contract. So yeah. we, we may go with Netflix. So it's, it was up in the air between Amazon. Well, I, I would say they're Netflix both, personally. Both but... good companies. Well, Netflix I, I, I have more money, Netflix. I think. Oh, Not, be, sorry, Bezos has I was more just saying, money. Oh, beyond but, that, but people. Have, oh, uh, you can finish, Andy. Sorry, I was just saying Netflix. They, uh, you know, they, they they produce some really good stuff. I'm not a big fan of Amazon's uh, stuff, but. Anyway, I, was, I had nothing really important to say, Eric. So. Gonna, well, <laughs> more to I'm come. Gonna, uh, end the show, but I just want to let people know. Of course, I'll be back Monday. The, uh, I have new hours now. The, the new hours is just I'm coming on an hour earlier to 9 a.m. P- uh, Pacific time, 12 o'clock East Coast time because no more kids in school, no more nothing. And just so everybody know, I'm just coming on an hour earlier. That's it. That's it. Just an hour earlier. And I hope everybody comes back. Hope hope we see everybody on Anthony's channel on Sunday. And together, even though we have the AI out there, together with all of us together, we're gonna. It's gonna be harder that more than ever to find the truth. But I know all of us put together, the truth is still there, and it's still be. We're still able to find it. We just gonna have to learn AI and work around it like anything else. Yeah. Any new technology changes just the world. Use your every eyes. New thing. Use your eyes, and uh, sometimes your eyes can be fooled, of course. But that's why research is important as well. Yep. So beyond that, everybody have a great weekend, and I might. Jump back on tomorrow. Like, I don't want to say for sure. I might do it tomorrow. Oh, you're such Beyond a tease. That, you're such a tease. Just a tease, I might. Beyond that, we'll see everybody next time. On the Paranormal Highway. <laughs>